Hey, you want 14th gen Intel? Cause we got some numbers for you. The Red Dead Redemption re-release is not what you think it is. And <laughs> Intel is gonna take all of your data for free without even needing your consent. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. That is a date. I don't have a watch on. Oh, this Friday, we're gonna be giving away our uh, 13900K 4090 PC that we got signed by everybody at LTX. The so big come. boy. The big boy. Linus' signature is on it. It's, it's gonna be great. We're excited for that. And some people are excited for the next generation of the, the Intel CPUs, the 14900K and 14700K getting benchmarked. However, uh, it does appear like these are early engineering samples. Don't necessarily be so excited to pick one of these bad boys up just yet because they're only running at like DDR5 4800, which is not a fast speed. Additionally, it seems like the core clock speed is not very high. So while the 14900K is about 14 to 20% faster than the 14700K, the 13900K beats the 14900K by about one to 16%. Uh, so optimizations still need to be made, but it does look at least if these numbers are being tested that we're still on pace for the October launch for this 14th gen series of CPUs. I personally was pretty excited for these back when we thought that the i3s were going to be six cores. Now it's not quite clear if that's ever going to happen. I really wish Intel would do yeah, that. Yeah. Give us six cores and an i3, please. Please. You can do it. How much begging do I have to do to get something like that? I believe in them. I'll do a lot, but in case you're looking to update to 14th gen, or maybe even just update your system at all, and you want to get rid of some old GPU you have, you should check out today's video sponsor, Jawa, which is the marketplace for gamers by gamers, but they'll also buy your graphics card directly from you. Whether you want to be putting that money into a new PC, a new GPU upgrade for yourself, you've been eyeing up those 4060 Ti, 7600s, whatever is floating your boat, Jawa can actually buy your GPU for the best price. It takes all the hassle out of having to sell your graphics card on a classifieds listing and instead just makes it so that you get some quick easy cash that you can convert into a new computer upgrade for yourself or you can take that money and like buy a hat that's lacquer like what do you call hats in south africa hats <laughs> And what you call Jawa is a great deal, a great sponsor, and a great place to make sure that you're uh, you're parting ways with your graphics card in a right, reasonable manner. Big thanks to Jawa for sponsoring today's episode of Hot News. But you know what's not being done in a right and reasonable manner, Reese? This hurts me so much. Red Dead Redemption. There was rumors that it was getting remade. Was it ratings boards leaks going on? People thought that they were gonna get it. A fresh new spanking update for this bad boy. You know what we get? Garbage. Oh, Kyler's mad too. All the way from across the field. You want to cover this one? People like you better than me, anyways. Did you think? Did you think you could just let this? I just let this slide, huh? You think I'm not looking at how it's just the same thing? You didn't even change nothing about how it looks and it's just out for the Switch and the PS4 now? Who cares about the PS4? Do you still have one? No. Do you still have one? In my PS5. That, that's everybody basically in the whole world right here. We represent the entire demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I would like to play it handheld on the Switch, though. Actually, that is the only redeeming. Do we even of this say what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you kind of you 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 did it subtly and in between the lines. If it's not obvious, Rockstar is releasing the original Red Dead without any kind of remaster for the Switch and the PS4, but not the Xbox Series X or the PC. It's it's uh, it's Sony exclusive now. Yeah, that's Nintendo as a Sony exclusive. Yeah, yeah. It's also fifty bucks. That game came out. 13 years ago. Oh, that hurts me. <laughs> well, you do get the Undead Nightmare expansion. That was a oh, solid fun. game. I loved the, the Undead Nightmare expansion. I'm still mad though. This doesn't make it any better. You can play it on Steam. You can run it on your little Game Boy thing. The Xbox 360 anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at this. Bye, Bright. It's not you, Reese. Ah. I'm scared. That was outrage, Kyler. A little frustrated. Let me know, do you like this move by Rockstar? I mean, especially after how they remastered some of the Grand Theft Autos. Ooh, boy, that was a rough time. Those were a little tricky, sticky pickle. They're not giving us GTA 6, 6. So I mean, where, where are we with them? I don't know what's going on. Where are we? 
in a basement somewhere. And where's Apple with the iPhone 15? Well, we got some details coming out about it. There's some reports coming out from behind the scenes that TSMC, the company that makes all the chips that you find in those iPhones, they have a super sweet, sweetheart deal for Apple when it comes to the three nanometer A17 chips that are supposed to be in the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And that is, if there's a defective chip in the wafer, Apple doesn't pay for it, TSMC does. And that way, Apple can adopt this new form factor of three nanometers without having to pay the exorbitant cost of trying to figure it out like they typically do. This allegedly will save Apple billions of dollars, especially considering the fact that the yield rates on these chips is between 70 and 80%, which means about one in five or so chips mm. don't work. Now, TSMC is gonna be bearing that cost, helps to get it to roll out, but also you will not be getting the new chip on the iPhone 15, just the pro version, which makes a lot of sense. This is kind of how they've been doing it. But we also now have some leaked cases that are gonna be coming out for the iPhone 15 Pro. And it kind of confirms the fact that they are getting rid of the mute switch toggle for an action button. You're giving me a look. I don't know what that means. Do you not like this? I kind of like the switch. I do. I play with it. Yeah, it, yeah, the OnePlus had the alert slider. They got rid of that for the 10 and people demanded it back. So they brought it back on the 11. I. Personally, obviously we'll have to see how the software integrates the action switch. Cause if it does just, you know, turn off the ringer and to does me, everything. Like some kind of haptic feedback that like it makes it feel good in my hands. Apple's kind of done in the past yeah. where they could figure that out. But I, yeah, I think some people might want might want the little switch. I like it. I like, I like the little the switch. switch. Not that one though, Frick Nintendo. But you know what else I like? Deals. It is so jarring. I love it. And welcome back to Deals, everyone. We're the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Dang, you got the tagline and everything. I remembered it today. And we're starting off today with Courses QL Series fans. These 120 mil RGB fans are going for only $33.99, making them $16 off. Still pricey for a fan. That's a single fan? That's a single fan. I was fan. like trying to read if it out of like a three pack or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but if you are keen to check these out, then finally pick one up on a deal, you know, don't play full price they were for these. Fifty dollars? Yeah. What is Corsair on? Corsair's on the the the, the RGB hype train. Oh man, that's a lot of money. But then next up, we have the Sony PlayStation DualSense wireless controller. You can pick up any of the colors for only fifty dollars at the moment. Fifty buckarinos. Yeah. Even though the the white version of the controller is cheaper, you know, you're not saving as much. It's still kind of fifty dollars. But like, I I, I link the purple for everyone because it's the best color. And you no, they got that. hot news colors. They got the teal and the pink. You can buy hot news controllers. Buy it. Then you have to have two. Yes. So you can have hot news colors. Do it or you hate us. Yeah, and then we have the Team Group T4 Delta RGB DDR5 RAM kit. The 32 gig kit running at 6,000 megahertz at CL38 is going for only $84.99, making it $70 off. And what is with RAM prices these days? It's just so, the RAM and storage is just in such a good space at the moment. It really is. So I'm actually, we've got a video plan coming up where we're gonna be doing the cheapest new AMD build you can do. And I got 16 gigs of DDR5 for like 30 bucks. Super cheap. What the heck? That's nice. I like it. I like these deals and I like him. I'm switching over back to him now. Hit me with your hat. Owie! Like it, man. Reese, you know how you go out on the internet and you search for deals trying to figure out where you're gonna find them? Well, now you can use Google search to figure out if how you ask for the deals makes any sense at all. You say, give good deals. And That's what I do. Exactly. <laughs> You type in grammar checker along with that, and now in English, it's gonna teach you how to how to get the proper grammar. So the dogs is running around the beach, grammar check. The dogs are running around on the beach. What is that example? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's AI powered somehow. Google's rolling that out into the search function. I'm just, okay. This is this is to check your grammar, right? Yes. I was thinking someone was like panicking. The dogs is running around on the beach. What do? <laughs> Typing it into Google for answers. Well, now now you can figure out how to uh, give good grammar in your job applications, which not everybody does, at, as I'm discovering while trying to hire a new writer. A writing position. A writing you. position you would think is at least... Not a ton of effort being put into that. Maybe at least Google search could... I mean, they could also use ChatGPT and they still don't. I don't know what to do with that. And I don't know what to do with Intel, okay? Because this is a report that's coming out regarding their drivers on their graphics cards. I don't know why I leave the ARC A770 on the hot news it's table. It's been here for how long? Months, man. I don't, I'm not putting this in a computer. I just have it sitting over here. It's a good prop for when I need it. But when you're installing the drivers now, turns out by default, 
telemetry collection will now be enabled on the driver installation. So this brings up a whole host of conversations. I think a lot of people's initial reaction is stop it, Intel, don't do that. Don't become like NVIDIA who by default and without being able to disable it, collect all of the data from your graphics card. So this happens through their compute improvement program, which is in the driver installation, which you have enabled by default. If you don't uncheck this, they're gonna start collecting data on your graphics card and your graphics card usage, which is a little worse than what AMD does because AMD at least explicitly says they're collecting your data. I, off the top of my head, would never think the computing improvement program would be that there's you know, taking my data to improve their drivers and all of that stuff, but it is worlds better than how Nvidia does it, which again is without consent, without permission, and just forces you to make it happen. Nvidia way. It's the Nvidia way, baby. But one of the questions that does come up with this is Nvidia obviously very good at coming out with new drivers. Part of this could be because of the breadth and wealth of data that they have on every single GPU user. Are you okay with this being enabled by default, or would you prefer that the checkbox is unchecked and it's up to you to enable whether or not Intel gets your driver usage statistics. How do you want this to be handled? Do you think that there is leeway here when it comes to the fact that they have to use this in order to make their product better? And if everybody chooses to opt out, they don't have end user data to actually work with. Like having user data is very valuable in constructing a better software experience. So where is the line? How much should they be allowed to collect? Where, where do you determine who gets what to consume? What do? I don't know, but there's all. this is also a little tied with a big report that's coming out about Zoom, which has their new privacy policy talking about how they will now use your data to actually train AI and do a whole bunch of stuff with that. And this happened back in March, but it was only discovered this past weekend, and now people uh -oh. are a little upset with it. However, the executives over at Zoom are saying that even though their privacy policy very, very explicitly says, we're gonna take your data and we're gonna use it for these things. We're allowed to do it and you can't stop us. They say, we're not gonna do that. Don't worry, it's not happening. So after it being sneakily in there for months, turns out that they say, don't don't worry about it. What, what nefarious purposes could they have with all of the physical things that you choose to communicate in a video conference, either personally or professionally? The only positive I can see is letting AI me stand in for a meeting and then just it giving me the notes afterwards. But then they own AI you because you gave it to them. Yeah, that, they can keep him in a little Zoom application. As long as he doesn't escape. What if, I don't know, them, I don't, what if they sell them? That's what, the possibility. Yeah. Do I get a kickback? Let me know what you think. No, you get no I'll kick you. Let me know what you think of all the, the privacy policy details in enabling and consenting when it comes to telemetry data on what exactly you're doing on your computer. I want to hear from you down below in the comments while I hear the sound of silence.